Hey, Internet, it's Dark Forces. Hi. It's Star Wars. We're still Star Wars. We're Star Dark Forces. Star Wars. Wars. We are Star Wars. Star Wars. Going to the Gromus Mines. The Star Wars. Going to the Gromus Mines. This cutscene kicks ass. The oh, Gromus it's Mines. Good. I'm, I'm the surprised that we have. The Gromus Mines, the Blood Moon. All right. Um. And I don't remember what the hype is. immediately stops. <laughs> he, I know, I'm, I'm trying to find a thing. Sorry. Choo choo, hype train, plot. motherfuckers! Here it comes through! <laughs> Look, I'm trying to read the plot so I actually know what's going on in this level rather than just talking about Star Wars. So this is, so this is, where, they, this is where they harvest the, uh, the material that's used to make the Dark yes, Troop armor. The, the frick. Yeah. That's what they decided to name it. Yep, the frick, yeah. Um, and also, yeah, at this level, I'm already maxed out on blaster ammo. Oh, nice. Oh, you can see it maxes out conveniently at 500. Um, that is convenient, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so this is, so this is the, uh, the mining and processing facility, um, for the, the stuff. Um, this is also a, this is also a very interestingly designed level because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tunneling that goes on. There's a lot of like drills and stuff. Um, a lot of rotating geometry, which is impressive for a game from 1994. And that stormtrooper just shot that other stormtrooper. <laughs> uh... Clearly, he was just trying to defect. He wanted to join the Rebel Alliance. Clearly. I killed him anyway, because Stormtrooper. I have part of this legendary Kyle Katarn. I do not wish to fight him. Oh yeah, so I got a weapon supercharge. Uh, basically, I alt for a minute, all my weapons fired twice as fast. Nice. Uh, for some reason, including your fists. Are they registered as lethal weapons in nine yes. systems? God damn it. Honestly, honestly, uh, honestly, Kyle's fists are more powerful than like are are, are only slightly as powerful than the thermal detonator. <laughs> they just have less of an area of effect. I mean, yeah. From, well, from a gameplay perspective, you know, it is something of a reward for getting up close and it's much more likely to be shot. But he's got, he's got well, no, because in because in in nineties in nineties shooters. It's a punishment for running out of ammo. <laughs> right. Sometimes you can tank Doom with your fists. There's actually like items for it. Yeah, but can't you actually pick up like a chainsaw in Doom? Well, yep. Yeah, I mean that is the basic. Yeah, but the first weapon, level, but... if you know where to look. Mm -hmm. God, I just if remember, I I just remember like how to find the chainsaw in Doom Two. That's that's the flashbacks I'm having right now. <laughs> Also, an inordinate number of Imperial officers just defend. Oh yeah, and I pick up the fusion cutter. Cool. Which is a weapon that's super cool, and I never really have much use for. <laughs> uh, let me see. The fusion cutter is weapon number six. Um, it is officially mentioned in the Star Wars novel. It is used to cut rock in mining situations. I thought it was cool sounding and would be good in the game. Uh, its official name is the Jaren Fusion Cutter, which Jaren is apparently a name that popped into Justin Shin's head uh, right around the time the manual needed to go to press. It's amazing what deadlines will do for your creativity. <laughs> uh, Jaren make apparent in the in the canon that he created. Jaren makes great tools, everything from cutters to hydro spanners. Uh, so, I never use the alt fire on this gun, but the reason that it has uh, four barrels is because if you use the alt fire, it fires all four barrels at once. Um, it also takes uh, ten ammo instead of one. Gotcha. Yeah, so basically, you're firing a single super powerful shot rather than a rapid fire. Yeah. And so now I. Just uh, repeater rifle. Actually, no, because I decided to use the fusion cutter because it seems better. I like how each weapon has the same. You've equipped this. Yeah, they, they, noise. Yeah, they, 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 they all make. They all make the. Yeah, they all make the the slide locking noise. Mm -hmm. And I guess the fusion cutter actually is super power. Actually, is pretty effective against the um 
uh, against the gun turrets. It's really effective against anything that's stationary. Ah, uh, yeah, many the bolts things. look like they moved pretty slow, though, so... Yeah. No, they move super slow. I think they do more damage, uh, but they only use as much ammo as one shot out of the repeater. And here's an issue. Here's a case of guys actually being kind of smart about moving. Yeah, no kidding. Because they're actually, like, going back towards cover and stuff. Which might be their pathing, but it's still well done. Yeah, it was well, well Yeah, done. especially especially for, you know, yeah, a game, as pointed out, this era of games, shooters were largely things either move at you and shoot or move move at you and attack or move in a very, very predictable pattern and attack. Yeah. Secrets. Yeah, also, yeah, from yeah. this level onwards, I get a little better about finding all the secrets. Yeah, scrub. Why don't you find all yeah. the ones beforehand? Just, I didn't have to walk through. <laughs> Surrender and... immediately. Oh god, blaster fire! Also, I don't know if you ever... It, it, you should take a look anytime an Imperial Commando shows up, because their their firing cycle is that the guy grabs the grabs the blaster with both hands like it's a pistol, mm -hmm. and then when he shoots it, it kicks back in his hand. <laughs> Like, kicks back as high as a pistol would so that it's in front of his face for a second. Is he made, could he be using the secondary fire on the rifle? There's no, there's no the secondary fire, there? there's no secondary fire on the, uh, at least in this game. Secondary oh, fire the, and primary fire do the same thing. Oh, on the pistol? Uh, on the pistol and the rifle. Oh, okay. I thought the you commando actually the... carries, the commando actually carries the, uh, the stormtrooper rifle. Or the carbine is. Oh, what was the one you're talking about that does the that does the a bunch of blasts at once? That. Uh, that's the fusion cutter. Oh, which the fusion no, cutter. Which uh, no, no enemy in this game actually carries. Uh, no enemy in this game actually carries the uh, actually carries the uh, the repeater either. And random crushing things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. I love random crushing things. That is a staple of shooters of this area. Yeah, this level is this level's full of crushing things. You got a blue key. Yes. Which is fortunate because there's a blue key door that does not look like it should use a blue key at all. But here we are. Uh conveniently, if you fall underneath the crusher, it only does like 20, 25 to 50 damage. Really? It makes bone crunching noises the whole time you're underneath it. Oh god. Uh, does it I do a I'm, specific I'm, damage and then I'm, stop, or does it keep doing damage? It keeps doing damage as long as the crushers are down. Just gotcha. All of them tend to be down just long enough to do between 25 and 50 damage. Gotcha. I mean, at least it's not a complete punishment for mistiming it. It's interesting. Yeah, you, especially, well, especially since there's a lot of crushers. Uh, there's crushers you won't see here that are, like, hidden. Like, you don't notice them until it's too late, and the only way to know that it, they're coming... Is the only way to know that they're coming, and yes, I do just injure myself with the thermal detonator. Nice. Um, but the only way to know that a bunch of crushers in this game are coming is to play the level and know that they're there. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the can't, this can't be any so worse cool. with the You can't be any worse with the I have an uncanny knack in shooters of hitting myself with explosives when I really shouldn't. I'll play like a battlefield game and I'll find the one bit of geometry in the level that will launch a grenade back right back at me. Oh jeez. <laughs> no joke. Also, the first time I played uh, Halo uh, competitively, I managed to not competitive, but like in multiplayer, I managed to stick myself with a plasma grenade. <laughs> I will never wow. that. I don't think I've ever done that ever. Hey, did you figure out how to so, sword? No. That's still not sprinting? No. Damn, sprinting, sprinting must be I'm fast. Guessing, sprinting is gun. crazy fast. Like, holy shit. Like, it's no almost wonder, unmanageable. Like I, like, I was gonna say, is like, if this is, like, if your, nor your normal movement speed is fast enough that I would, yeah, I wouldn't even, like, if I didn't know about it from something else, I probably wouldn't even think there was. Yeah, no, there's actually, if you hit caps lock, you actually walk. Huh. Also, uh, the AI in this game is good, but it's not that good. It's, did you try? I don't suppose you tried walking in the segment you were talking about. You're supposed to. They suggest you stealth it. Uh, 
I didn't, but you don't seem to make any noise. Walking is for precision movement, which actually, it's fortunate that I, it's, 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 it's interesting that I mention it because it becomes actually super relevant in this upcoming part. Uh, and... Cultists are just going to walk around and let you shoot them. Yeah. Yeah, normally they try and shoot back. I don't know why they didn't. I'm telling you, they wanted to defect, but they didn't have the uh, mental fortitude to actually defect, so they just had suicide by rebel. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, how about I laughed at it? <laughs> so, oh man, where do I go? Oh, right. So, you know, the next place that you go is logically this ledge you can't see. Of course. Hey, just, look you know, that. into this pit. This pit of hell. This looks more and more like a doom level. <laughs> and you, there's another crusher for no reason. I love random crushy bits. You're not going to have to ride it or something? Nope. <laughs> I have to wait until it's up and then jump over the gap. Oh, shit. Ah, okay. Do you have enough thermal detonators? Yeah, just a giant cache of them. You know, for mining. I like that you were running so fast that blaster shot went into the floor and you were already past it when it hit. Yeah. Alright, so this is the main uh, refine... This is the main uh, mining refinement area. And we are introduced to the idea of planting sequencer charges. Oh, interesting. What are sequencer charges? I don't know, but they go in this plus thing. <laughs> and then do they blow up? Uh, this is level, actually, you only have to... Yeah. You only have to plant, uh, you actually only have to plant one of them in this level. In later levels, it's always threes. Nope. That was a loophole. Oh, hello, droid. Hey! Yeah, uh, this is a... This I was is... wondering if there was something like a mini-boss coming up, given that they were giving you all this... Thermal field and... later, yeah. Yeah, so here's the thing about... This is a, uh, stage one dark trooper. Oh, cool. Uh, you... You notice how they? You notice how it carries a shield? Mm-hmm. If you try and shoot it, it'll occasionally deflect blasts with its shield. Interesting. Okay. And also, Kyle Good knows talk, what a dark Kyle. trooper. Kyle knows what a dark trooper is, despite how we don't know what a dark trooper is. Yep. Yeah, he did say something to that effect during the briefing with Mon Mothma, didn't he? Like. Like, oh man, they have dark troopers. Should have stayed with the Empire. Like, how did nobody be like, fuck you, you about that? You knew about this? What did you well, tell so us? Well, so the specific so line he says. Died. So the specific line that he, yeah, like so the specific line he says in that is, like, a fleet of stormtroopers that could wipe out a rebel base that fast. I should have stayed with the Empire. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why didn't they um, be, immediately be like, you can leave? <laughs> Yeah, no, honestly, well, that's the thing, like, the, the senator says, the, 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 the Kyle, the rebellion takes us with utmost seriousness. <laughs> Stop. So, this is a really annoying thing, and I don't know how I fixed it. Um, but yes, it took me seven minutes to still not do it right. Wow. So, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Um, Except sprint? Maybe, yeah, maybe if I sprinted it would work. Maybe it's because I didn't know how to sprint, but I I managed to get through this by a glitch. No oh, good. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of me waiting for doors to open because y y you know. Gameplay. Gameplay, yeah. Fortunately, it opens up all the doors when you push that button, so we don't have to wait for all of them. So I knew I did it the first up. time. I knew I did it the first time by something that I couldn't remember. Um, and I still don't actually know how I did this, but sometimes you flip the so the thing is when you flip the switch, you have to stand there and it'll open the door. Right. And um, and then it'll start closing when you move towards them. But sometimes when you hit it, the doors just keep opening. <laughs> okay. And so you can just run through as the doors are slowly opening and just blast the shit out of everybody. <laughs> and then Kyle Katarn broke physics and ran through the doors. Yep. Such a, such a, such a daring life, Kyle Katarn leads. <laughs> and so challenging too. Truly, the force is strong with this one. <laughs> God damn it! It's funny you mentioned that. 
<laughs> yeah, it's yeah, almost spoilers. <laughs> yeah, don't don't look at the title of literally any other game in the series. <laughs> yeah, you mean Dark Forces 2? Yeah, yeah. Subtitle. <laughs> you mean the super title? <laughs> that fucking jump. <laughs> that fucking shit lord. <laughs> Goddamn stormtroopers. Ugh! Also, yeah, can we talk about how about the cannon power difference, or the power scale, I should say, of the thermal detonators? Because like oh. here, <laughs> here they're like no, they're like a concentrated blaster bolt, but in some cases they're like powerful enough to wipe out buildings. You mean like you mean like in Return of the Jedi, where yeah, Leia manages but... to threaten everybody in Jabba's palace by mm -hmm. holding a single thermal detonator? Yeah, like it'll wipe out everything in the area. Yeah, some of them. How are you supposed to use a therm- like, it's a hand grenade, right? Yeah, it is a hand grenade, it's also got timers. But basically, what? the implication was that she just clicked it to dead man switch and armed it. And it was basically- yeah, basically, if anybody messed with her, it would, uh... Yeah, because that- I know- I know they do- they- canonically, they do have dead man switches mm -hmm. pretty much for that purpose. So you basically hold one and be like, kill me and we all blow up. <laughs> It's, a, it's an interesting gambit, to be sure. And yet, a fairly effective one. Yeah, it's, I guess the it's more effective, it's it's more effective than the Mexican standoff. So are we just, we just leaving now? Yeah. Because uh, we, we set the charge to blow uh, on, the, okay. on the refinery. Yeah, there was all that shaking as though. And we leave, and there is a bomb. The sequencer charge is that powerful. It put a new crater in that tiny moon. Boy, I really hope the Empire doesn't have any of those facilities in. excuse for an officer will no longer divulge any more information to that rebel, Kyle Katarn. Katarn will not be as easy to deal with. He is very resourceful. More resourceful, it seems. Fucking Kyle Katarn has Darth Vader's respect. God damn it. Katarn was once an impressive Imperial officer. But he was uh, and gave up oh, it gets better. For our new order. I wouldn't put much faith in his abilities. Katar Wait, for uh, near this ship. My new hire will see to that. Oh, so oh, oh, it... oh, 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 Wait, oh, wait. Oh, god damn it, Boba Fett. God damn Full motion video, Boba Fett. God damn it, Boba Fett.